pretty sure there's no um, subtitles. Anyway, let's do a basic tutorial, see what this is all about. Hopefully everything looks and sounds fine. Let's go. Welcome to a short tutorial on how to play Max Payne. Okay, here we go. I know nothing about this game. Literally, absolutely, 100% nothing. Payphone is ringing, walk over to it. Now face the payphone and press the uh, use key E. Okay. I'm jamming E, nothing's happening. <laughs> there we go. Now that you know how to use items, go and use the doors of the van. You hate the tutorial? Uh, now that you know how to use items, you can shoot by pressing mouse button one. Try it on the boxes. All right. Cycle through your weapons with the mouse wheel. Nice. You can cycle through your weapons. Now shoot the padlock on the metal door. Do I get to aim? No. Max can shoot dodge by moving and pressing bullet time. Okay, there you go. The shooting sound is really low to me. Uh, audio. The effects volume is all the way high, though. That's interesting. Maybe it's just low in game. Max can also go into bullet time. Press the bullet time combo. Uh, oh, okay, so it's the same. Like you can do shift or you can do right mouse button. Yeah. Okay. Max jumps when space or right shift is pre- Okay, I think I have the basic idea. <laughs> I can't play any of the harder difficulties. We have to play it on Fugitive. They don't let me do that. All right, here we go, Max Spain. Standby, 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10-foot dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. I'm gonna turn down the volume just a little bit once we get into the main thing. Shots fired on the rooftop. That can I go ahead and do that? An assault in progress at Asa Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Is that supposed to be like the the big building and dead. die hard? The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. Why do I have such a cheesy smirk on my face? To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Oh, it's like a comic book. That's cool. Part one, the American dream. I was still in the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See ya, Alex. Still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. At least this game reads everything for me, unlike um, Quantum Break. Which, by the way, Michelle, I, I now honey, still, home? like, to I this... I like the way the show started. 
they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. To this moment, I I now still hate Quantum Break with a passion. Hang on, let me um let me fix a couple of things here. Um, God, now I forgot what I was trying to fix. Okay, here we go. I have to move everything down because whenever I switch everything to 144, it went back up. Uh, this actor is the only dude who could have read this dialogue. He's got a weird face. <laughs> That's the only thing that I noticed so far. A um, couple things I want to fix here. Let me plop this on. Plop that. All right, we're good to go. And y'all let me know if the game is too loud or if, you what know, the if, if the sound is all right. That's Sam Lake's face. He's got a cheesy face. Ooh, what is that? Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. I like the comic theme to this. Um, initial thoughts are that I really, really do like that. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? What? Hello. Uh, press F1 to review the graphic novel later. Oh, you can read all of that. That's pretty cool. Was everything fixed? So I, I made a fix. Um, something with uh, game capture within OBS was causing the frame rate to tank. So I'm streaming with display capture. It's not ideal, but everything I'm hoping looks good for y'all at least. It does good. I don't like streaming with display capture just because sometimes it distorts things a little bit. But for a game this old, I don't think we're going to have that problem. I wouldn't want to stream a new game with display capture. Oh my god, why is there so much blood on the... Haha, <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. The, dude, the faces are so funny. Damn, I'm good at this game. No, 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 please, Wait, they God, killed no. my baby? You freaking bastards. Holy shit. I shot my baby just to make sure. You always want to double tap so they don't turn into zombies later. Dude, I like this room. This would be a really good streaming room. Wow, this would be ideal, actually. I feel like already I'm getting shot way too much. Oh, no, no, God, no, please, um, Michelle. My wife's oh, definitely baby. dead. Oh, man. She has no legs. That's kind of messed up. Or no feet, rather. No! That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Oh, we're playing mafia again. Fantastic. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks <laughs> as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. 
It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. I Next do wish stop, this game had subtitles. Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. Dude, wipe that silly smirk off your face. Jesus. All right, the we're... station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost. No there one is be seen. no one in the subway. That's really odd. I like the noir kind of style to this. His wife and kid just died. You would expect, yeah, right? Like he's just got this silly smirk on his face, dude. Your your kid died. Your wife died. Woo! <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Look, his face, he's, that's how, that's the face you should look like when your kid died. Jeez. <laughs> Roll credits. Game over. <laughs> Ooh, why is there blood everywhere in every place that I go? Maybe I'm the murderer. Mm. But I, I do like noir and crime stuff, so I think this, Death was in the air I think Roscoe this probably Street. will be right have up to find my alley. Alex fast. that some kind of Brock Lesnar tattoo look at that so Brock Lesnar was here holy shit that's not good oh there you go why is there showers in a subway is that normal oh this is a personnel shop but wait I've never had a job where there were showers inside the job oh that's good to know takes place in New York City. There should be more. Wait, I don't know how to use... Oh, we didn't do the... Hang on. Hang on. Uh, options, controls. I didn't see, like, how you're supposed to use painkillers. Tab or backspace? Okay. That, that's probably one of those things you want to learn before you get into a game with combat. How to use the medicine. That guy's not doing so hot. Okay, dude, that's really hard to do the bullet time stuff. Like, that is really hard. Even with mouse and keyboard. It, it, I, it's something I'm gonna have to get used to, I'm sure. More painkillers on the sink? Okay, I'll go in there. We're probably gonna need as many as we possibly can. Also, I keep pressing shift in order to, um, in order to run. And that, and shift is my painkiller, or, or shift is my, oh no, there's just water. And I can flush the toilet. I keep pressing shift to run, and it's my bullet time. Ooh. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Hey, it's hey, yeah. Wait, I don't have any more gun. Surely I have gun. Okay, the com <laughs> the combat is. Definitely 2003. Um, the voice of the angels choir. Oh, I need I need some weaponry. Yo guys, yo guys, hey, we get it around. You hear me? Yo. I don't know what to think of this so far. I, I like I'm enjoying it and yet I'm just like completely confounded on what I'm doing.
The enemies all telegraph, like, where they are. It's wonderful. Alright, I got me a shoddy. The combat gets better in 2 and obviously gets much better in 3. That's good. I, I hope the audio also gets a little bit better, because that's a little weird. Like, the, the, the gunshots are really quiet, and then everything else is really loud. Is there a reason to explore in this game, or is it pretty linear? Okay, that was accidental, what I just did, but that was kind of cool. <laughs> explore a bit? Okay. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need <laughs> Tom to get Green. Help. I can make the calls from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> that dude's oh, Tom Green. My bum is on your lips. My bum is on your lips. Rub your balls. In any game series or uh, Franzi, the combat starts shitty and then becomes good as they progress. True. I don't know what a Franzi is, but. Movie, maybe. Hey, where are you going? Woo! Franchise. Oh, okay. Oh well, the the guy moved. I was gonna be pretty cool. Damn. The combat's not terrible, it, especially in the lens of two thousand and three. Oh, sorry, dude. It's just something to get used to, you know. But I got a feeling the story is probably where this game shines. Whoop! The gate was locked. I would have to find another way to get to the tunnel. Wait, I thought that I had some kind of security guard coming with me. Tom Green, come on. Need to go and call help. All right, come on. Where are we going? Come on, Tom Green. You were relevant in the 90s. Let's go. I don't know how you were ever relevant. You Holy weren't all that funny. Oh, shit. Tom Green's dead. No. No. Not Tom Green. Where is the guy? Where'd the guy go? Oh shit. Get him. Woo! Oh, you can't take cover either. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to miss him. Um, it's fine. I like that you can interact with, like, literally everything. Okay. What am I supposed to be checking out? Uh, see you fix your problems. I was about to DM you on desk. Yeah, so DCAS, what happened with this game is Game Capture in OBS tanked the, um, like, if I had the preview up on my, on my other monitor, it tanked the FPS to 5. So I started streaming this with uh, Display Capture and everything's working fine. Yeah, I'm not I'm not real sure what the reason is for that. I've never had that issue before, but whatever. I don't know what I just did, by the way. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, it was back on. Nice. I turned back on the juice. 
This game's super buggy. I mean, it is an old game, so I, I get it. Hopefully, Max Payne 2, I don't have to do the same thing. I'm just glad that I was able to figure out what it was, you know. Is that the... No, the train's not over here. Wait a minute. Okay, this is probably not a great idea for me to be doing this. Woo! <laughs> you broke an entire cutscene when you played it? Nice. Wait, am I seriously having to start over everything? Oh my god! Wait a minute. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. Do you have to, have to find man Alex fast? Do you have to manually save this game? Oh the my god. Pain. <laughs> As in the cutscene happened, but it didn't actually stop the gameplay. You were still running around. F oh, that's funny. I hope we get that issue. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Michelle. Ah! So what is it? F5? F5 to save? Oh, you can't save the game? So I need to, like, Skyrim this and just save all the time. That's good to know. Also, don't run on tracks. Problem was the enemies were immune. Needless to say, you got, uh, lit the fuck. Oh, I imagine, yeah. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, bullet time just isn't as good to me. Because, like, I jump and I swear I shoot them, but it doesn't actually hit them. Play the whole thing without saving? I, I would like to play the game start to finish tonight. Just depending on how we feel, but that that's my goal. I, I'd love to play this start to finish. We'll be off tomorrow... And then probably, honestly, probably streaming about a month straight. I know you guys are going to roll your eyes and say, yeah, right, but that's kind of my plan. Unless things come up. Like, obviously, I'm having to have surgery uh, the Tuesday after. Well, maybe not surgery. Like, something with my uh, ingrown toenail. So we'll see how that goes. But, but I'm going to try my best. to. We're, we're going to go start going hard on stream. <laughs> I said hard on. Um, yeah, I did. Um, it got to where, I don't know, I may make it to where it's available like once per stream, but I, f I don't know, it, it just always, I didn't really enjoy it. No cursing for 10 minutes. All right, 433. I got this. Oh yeah, save. We got <laughs> Y'all might want to like remind me every now and then to hit save cuz I'm going to forget. You saved me, man. Like if I don't do it. Here. A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow don't rely on us. We'll forget to. Oh god. Can you imagine I just I I get through like 12 chapters of this game and then forget to save it and then die and have to start everything over again? It saves between levels. Well, that's good, at least. Hitting Roscoe Bank ain't exactly cheap. What the hell? Oh. Whenever you play Tomb Raider 1, the old school one, you all... Dude, I want to do a Tomb Raider series, too, at some point. I've never played the old school... Well, I've played the old school games, but I've never gotten far into them. I, I would love to do a whole Tomb Raider series, eventually. When we get the new computer, because um, RTX applies no to the newest Tomb Raider game, room. so I would love to like, I I would love to play all of them and see the beauty of RTX, because I I don't know what RTX looks like in video games. I've never seen it. Home free this way. Bum -ba -dum -bum. Oh, Tom Green died. I knew that was gonna happen, and I didn't even save him this time. All right, I saved it. It doesn't seem like painkillers really do that much. <laughs> Locking the butler in the freezer, that sounds fun. Did that dude just shoot his friend?
Yeah, I just saw the medicine cabinet in that room. All right, now I gotta remember where the train is that we're looking for. All right, two trains. Okay, these are definitely the developers of this game. Yeah, I mean, if you don't see that I saved, but like I just saved there, but it would be a tragedy to get far and then die and have to redo everything. Dude, what is the train that I'm trying to go to here? Ah. Oh. I wish you could sprint in this game. I really do. Well, I know I'm supposed to go to a train that has the electricity turned on. The problem is, is I have no earthly idea where that train is. I'm guessing down here, maybe? Yeah, there it is. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Wait, am I gonna drive this train? That seems like a bad idea. I am wholly unqualified for this position. <laughs> So much for being subtle. Oh, wow. Well, we're not getting out that way. Wait a minute. This is where I was before. Wait, what? That's where I was before. All right, I'm going to save it. Am I just trying to exit this place now? Maybe. No, this is the same place. Look at all the dead people that I already killed. Yeah, this is the same hallway. I killed all of these people. killed these people there's the blood to the hallway with the security guard this is the same bathroom so what was the point of that train maybe I gotta go in that train and go out the other way I don't really see what the point is. So we came down here. Hold up. Oh, I think I see what it is. I went out the back of the train, but I needed to go out the front of the train. <laughs> Why do so many people want to kill me? What did I ever do to them? That's really what I want to know. Part one, the American dream. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station closed off since the early forties. Something big was going down in Roscoe street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other. I was going to find out. So we're like in old, old New York now. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that dude did a backflip down the stairs. I almost didn't want to kill that guy. Ooh. Yo! Oh, save it. <laughs> they have a real time, real hard time shooting you if you move around, by the way. All right, I know they probably want me to go... Hmm. Let's see what's over here first. Dead end? Yeah. All right. It's definitely a different game than Alan Wake and Quantum Break. What the hell was that? Oh, rats. They probably want me to go through this door. The door had been welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Oh, but wait, I, couldn't I shoot this? Oh my god, what if that had blown me up? I only have one thing of painkillers left. We, we really need some painkillers. Oh, they broke into a bank vault. Look at that. Not on my watch, boys. I am the greatest New York City detective ever. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Save it. I'm about to die, that may have been a really bad save point. Wow, that was a quick, that was a quick load. Jesus, okay. What the hell? Jeez. Wait, why, why did it give me a big cutscene? for that, but gave me a second chance. That's odd. Maybe Max Payne has two lives. Woo! I need some... I need some medicine. Really, really bad. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You were to cease your What? I didn't do that. Surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking, and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? 
being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Oh, great. The cops hate me now. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robber's score lay on the table. There's no nothing on the table. Oh, there we go. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story there were. recently been on they every were on channel the table. and on the cover of every magazine. All right, I'm gonna have to murder some popos, I think. All right, let's go into Valde. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough Ooh. explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. All right, time to go back through Vault B, I think. And we're gonna blow that door downstairs. Or upstairs, even. Woo! I don't wanna shoot you guys. Oh my god, what, what did you just do? What did you just throw at me? I wonder if you could have died by standing too close to that. I'm busting out of this joint. Oh, you can? Hold it. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? Oh, I guaranteed I will. It's an armed robbery. <laughs> Donald job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. This is Lupino's gig. This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? I can't hear a damn thing they're saying right now, and I, I hate that there's no subtitles. Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. How about that half his blood was out of his head? Woo! Oh, I didn't get any money out of that? What a rib. I, I deserved to get some money out of the- oh god. Oh god, the cops are coming after me. All right, what is quick load? I, I guess we need to find out that too. Uh, controls. I, I have no idea. What do you guys think quick load is? F6? That close to F5, really? Oh, I didn't save it? That... Oh, my God. I didn't save it. Oh, I didn't even grab the explosives. Sh shit! <laughs> well, welcome to the rest of the game where I just completely forget to save. Wait a minute, I saved since then. No, that's bullshit. Dude, I saved since then. That's some bullshit. I definitely saved since then. Son of a bitch. Maybe manually load? I don't think so. No. Because that's where it's loading me at. I, I definitely saved it since then. I mean, y'all saw me. I, I definitely did.
I keep getting turned around on this part. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I really thought we were done with this part. All right, watch. Watch this. F5, game is saved. We'll see what happens. All right, we can skip past all of that. The bank robbers have left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Bank robber score lay on the table. F5. Okay. Wait, why didn't B open? Game definitely has its uh, issues, but it, so far it's a lot of fun. I like the dual gun thing. That that seems to work quite a bit. Uh oh. Yep, they got you an assassin. There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. I could tell because he was lying there without breathing. I didn't think he could hold his breath for that long. I saved it over and over again. You, you, you guys are all witnesses that I saved it multiple times. Over and over. I could tell because he was bleeding out of his head. Yeah. Do a manual save? All right. As soon as I get out of this. Oh god. How do I do a manual save? Uh, are you limiting the frame rate of this game? There's some sections where having a high frame rate doesn't play with the game. I have it limited to 144. I know they want me to go that way, but I kind of want to explore a little bit. Okay, there's nothing to explore. Damn! He really wanted him a Coca-Cola. Okay, that's not painful to save. I thought it might take a long time. All right, we're out. Now we gotta run away from the cops. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. 
Chapter 3, playing at Bogart. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My car had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Oh, time to murder the Mafia. Wow, your health carries over from level to level. That's insane. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Ooh, money. But they only let me take the painkillers. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnetti. Gagnetti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see it through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up for your finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Big mistake. Yeah, everything's good. No need to worry. No, you don't. You don't have to do that. No. At least it's not hard to get weapon like ammo in this game. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked, and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Oh, is that a Playboy? Hello. Hello. <laughs> A little vibrating bed. I got in the bed. It was vibrating. It gave me a good feel of what it felt to be alive. What if Night Springs just suddenly started playing on this TV right now? Even though Max Payne wouldn't be around for like seven more years. Just Night Springs starts going. Yeah, where am I supposed to be going? Today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. <laughs> the gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. 
I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Well, that's not good. That's not the kind of fame I want. Well, how in the hell do I get out of here? What? Um. Oh. <laughs> you just jump right out of the window. Why not? something in here. It's a really shittily made door. Good, good, good thought, Rusty. Really shittily made door. I did, I did just save. I'll, I'll do a hard save as well. How about that? Hold it. Why does everybody have the same uh, girl uh, posters in their room? Dude, what if I turn this on and like the ring uh, from the movie The Ring like came on there, and then I, and then I got sucked into that? You know, there's mods for this game where like they have entire stories like Half Life, and like there was a horror game that somebody made for this. Like we might. Depending on how much I enjoy this, I might download some of those story mods and play those later too. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. <laughs> We're just watching TV right now. Oh, I thought that was America. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. I love this episode. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord. It is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather... This guy over here really loves yes, his soap lord, operas, man. ...be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. Da da da. Dude, can we, is this like multiple episodes that we get to watch? Nah, it's oh. over. Lady Amelia, so tragic. Will they ever get together? <laughs> well, you'll never find out because now you're dead. That's that's actually really funny that you could catch a dude watching a uh, soap opera. My dad, it, my dad was really into soap operas for a while, and it kind of like, uh, which there's nothing wrong with it, but like. You gotta understand, like, my dad was always just, like, like sports and nothing else. And then all of a sudden, I got it, like, I, I went to his house one day. At, like, after not seeing him for about a year. He was over there just watching, like, The Bold and the Beautiful or something. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> and but, oddly enough, it like, the little I saw, I didn't know what was going on, but it wasn't that bad. But I was just like, this is different. V head junkies could go off without a warning. Oh, I shit. had to be careful. <laughs> oh, five 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 P S S Y. What do you think that was supposed to? Oh, five 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 P S S Y. Y'all, I, th I think that was trying to spell prissy. It's 
It is pain. And I'm here to bring the pain. I don't know which side they're going on. I'm literally turning on all the beds. You ass- Oh, no. Uh, F9, how far back are we now? We're not that far back. I mean, we're a ways back, but we're not, like, crazy far back. Previously, our lords and ladies. Lady Amelia, Marky Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. V head junkies could go off without a warning. If I had to be careful. Because I'm your long lost sister. Ooh, Coke and chips. My lord, I am my lord, I am your long lost sister. Bum bum bum. I hope there's more of those TV episodes in this game. Because I, I want to know more about the lore of this. Like, do they become lovers even though she's his sister? Like, like what happens with this? That's what I want to know. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect it's a cool game. The site only moments after the shots have been I'm, fired. I'm liking and it so And the NYPD far. is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm yes, in she recorded did. history continues. She's a radio host and a TV host all at the same time. That is not the way you want to die. Damn. Or maybe it is exactly the way you want to die. This is a shitty house. The, the, a shitty apartment. There's like snow coming in. I mean, he deserved it. Uh, let, let's be honest here. Get him. Dude, the shotgun just mows through people. Holy cow. He was dead. I saw it by the way that he closed his eyes and did not move. This game it's had Morte's room. Ooh, oh. Well, they had a saw kind of thing there. Wait a minute, I haven't been here yet. Yo! Told you, god damn! I thought it was a bop for sure. Nah, the Russian would. I it was a bomb. All right, I, I kind of want to go down there before I go into room 313. Come in. Come in. All right, save it. But 
But actually, no. I think I'm going to go into room 330. Forte received a letter. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I, should I go downstairs first or read the letter? I think we read the letter because I think going down is where... Yeah, I think we're going to be going down later. So... Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Alright, we gotta get the hell out of here. Dude, this is exactly the Saul booby trap from the Saul video games. Alright, let's go downstairs. What the hell? Yeah, I think this may be the only game I've ever played where I actually enjoyed the shotgun. Pretty much every other game I'm just like, eh. The hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Candy Kane. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Whoa, this closet opens up to a whole new room. Oh, look at this. Oh, I see. So that's where you recorded your people. Oh, you, you mischievous lady, you. Can I zoom in somehow? I want to see the name on the tapes, but I don't think I can. So far, I haven't really found much use for bullet time. Chapter 4, The Blood Veins of New York. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. Oh, save. Hello, boys. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. So do we know, like, who killed my wife? Or was it just some random thug? Well, I mean, obviously it's going to end up being somebody important. But, like, do we know right now, like, who it is that was behind her death? Or is, is he just, like, still searching for them, uh, trying to figure out who it is? We don't know. Okay. I didn't think so, but sometimes I miss the most obvious details. I, but I'm glad that I didn't miss that. All right, let's get out of here, maybe? Oh, come on. 
Yo. <laughs> Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero Captain Baseball death Bat Boy? Mm -hmm. But a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat. What a now shitty, a uh, crying blood next to comic a character. Folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Oh, I was hoping I could put his body up in there. All right, I already had been in there. Oh, come on. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in L.A. or Mexico? They can't even get a tan. If I was a bloodsucker, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one long night. Yeah, and what would you eat? Suck blood from penguins? Nah, Dude, I love the... I love the conversations that you can eavesdrop on. I think that's the best part of the game right there. And by the way, this game is way, way better. Like, I, I've never played... Um, obviously, I've never played this game on uh, controller. But, like, I can tell that this is so much better on mouse and keyboard, for me, anyway. I think I'd be incredibly frustrated if I were playing this on a controller right now. Because at least with mouse and keyboard, I can kind of, like, aim really easy. Oh, we got a business, uh, important business transaction going on over here. I don't want to interrupt them. I mean, it, like, you don't want to mess up people having having their conversations. It's important business. They they might be helping out with the uh, with the um, economy, and I I just feel like I'd be incredibly rude to mess that up. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go in there and kill everybody. Also, if you're always moving in this game, you're you're doing pretty good. I have seven painkillers. A killers lifetime right ago, now. this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Would y'all rather me be on the there right side on of the, the screen? Um, I mean, I'd be covering up like my ammo, but would you rather see my health or my ammo? Okay, you'd rather it the way it is. Okay. Because that's the thing. I, I'll be covering up something either way. Yeah, you can still kind of see the that guy. Look how big that key is. Holy shit. That is the biggest key I have ever seen in my entire life. My god. Anything else up in here? I don't believe so. Can you open the briefcase? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, you can. It's dirty money. Holy shit. That is a lot of money and I can't take any of it. Are you kidding me? The transparent cylinders glowed green full of Valkyr. Is that ooze? The stuff that turned the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles into big turtles? Or turn the turtles into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Restaurant. All right, well we got the bar keys, so let's go. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I Solid. tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Oh, he had his pants off. I just, I'm killing a hooker. 
Oh. Wait, I saved more recently than that. Didn't I? Yeah, I definitely saved more recently than that. Dude, for some reason, it doesn't seem to be saving every single time I save. That's really bizarre. So now I not only have to deal with like this game fucking up or uh, like the the uh, game capture and everything, now I have to deal with the game not saving. That's going to be fun. Oh, we're not that far away, never mind. I still don't think it's saved where I save. Yo yeah. A lifetime ago, the transparent cylinders glowed green, full of- it was dirty money. I forget if these had anything. Ooh, a Molotov. I don't know how to throw the Molotovs. Uh, I'll go ahead and table. save it there. I wonder how I get in that restaurant. Alright, I'll save it right there. So I, I saved it right next to the bar for future reference. Damn, that lady lasts a long time. Save it? Haha, <laughs> saved it right there. Holy cow. Okay, so it did save it right here. Um, I think I'm gonna need the dual Berettas, actually. I have no more uh, heals, by the way. Um, take out the shoddy. Oh, I, did I kill the guy? Sweet. Okay. That guy took a lot of bullets. I wish the Coke machines would heal you. The antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, Cornelius, this makes pain. out a deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system something wicked this way comes max pain at large i need some more heals oh save good good solid point rusty Going into the strip club. Hell yeah. Ooh, slot machines. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Aww. Aww. Dang it. Do you ever win this, or is it always going to be the same thing? I bet you some asshole like that was playing this game probably sat here for like an hour trying to press these and win. 
Oh, come on. I'm due. Come on. Big money, big money, big spin, big spin. All right, one more, one more spin, and then that'll be it. That's how Vegas gets you. It's always one more spin. Nah, I don't think we, I don't think we can win that. It's a lot of five, five, five prissy on the wall. Hello. Woo! What was that weapon that I had? <laughs> I didn't know I had that. I had like a little mini Uzi on him. Come on, the new, new slot machine, new luck. Come on. Oh. All right. Uh, I'm I'm gonna put it on zero. Putting all my money on zero. Come on, big money, big money, big money. I don't see the ball. <laughs> That's how the house always wins. They don't put a ball in the roulette machine. Ooh, I probably got to jump in there, huh? All right. Hoop. 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 Saving in five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Lounge. No, you know what I need? I need a heal. Wait, that's where I just was. No, I don't want to exit. I want to go into the lounge. Okay, I can't go into the lounge. So I guess we're leaving this place. I guess we're not leaving this place. And where in the hell are we going? They wouldn't let me in the bar. We're just going through this again. I just realized how to throw a, a uh, Molotov. That was progress? How was that progress? I didn't progress anywhere. <laughs> Do I have to go backwards, maybe? now like I made progress but I don't see where I gotta go unless I literally just have to leave this place now this seems wrong but who knows Going way too far. Well, now I know that because the elevator. I don't. I really don't know where they want me to go, though. Um. Hmm. Maybe over here. probably like a random door that wouldn't open before that now would there's a dude's head coming through that door by the way All 
right, we made it to the bar. Again. Does she have anything on her, maybe? No. All right, so we come through here. I've checked every door. A uh, guy with his pants around his ankles doesn't have anything. Wait a minute. I thought I had already pressed that. Oh, that was this door right here. I got it. All right, so you had to go fast enough to get through that door, I think. Cool. Chapter five, let the gun do the talking. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Oh, I don't want to get in the middle of that. Dude, their license plate is literally vodka. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. A Russian mob. Damn. Ooh. That's not good. Well, I guess we're not going that way. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked. But luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be taken inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Excellent general adult videos. Can I go in there? Oh, man. Dude, there's literally a DeLorean over here. That's fantastic. Makes me want to like check everything else over here. Pizza, free delivery, nice. Don't mind if I do. I wonder if they're the actually. Were depressing read. Oh, what is that? The headlines were screaming. Bloody so there murder. is a reason the to look around. A screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. There's two places that I can go in. Hello, boys. All right, I guess we need to head back. Yeah. Because this looks like somewhere I'm going to go later on. And everything else is a dead end over here. All right, let's, let's head back and do whatever this pawn shop was over here. Also, can I go in here? I wonder if these are all connected, maybe. Okay, what was the point of this area, then? Oh, just to get the guns? Alright, cool. So that was the extra building. To turn the TV on? Was there a TV? Because there might be that really good uh, soap opera, and I mean, we got to see that. Nope, none of the TVs turn on. Choir communications. I wouldn't do good living in a city like this. Like, I, I have always been a rural country boy kind of thing. I wouldn't do good living in here. All 
Alright, I guess we're kicking down this door. I love killing the crackheads in this game, it's fun. Woo! The whole building was rigged with explosives. Uh oh, that's not good. Wait a minute. <laughs> this this seems like I am stuck in here. Um. And shooting those things doesn't do anything. Dude. What in the hell am I supposed to do right now? Is somebody gonna open this door for me, maybe? Hello? Throw a bomb at the tanks? Okay. What if I didn't have a bomb? What the hell? Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be before the explosive makeover. What, what was that? Did I get hit with the one piece the of shrapnel? Are depressing read. Oh, I guess I should activate that. I don't know if that actually does anything if I collect those, but... Jack Lupino's suite was okay. on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. I'll save before I go into the building this time. The headlines were a depressing read. with explosives. Hey, Mary. What's up? How you doing? Oh, thank God. Health packs. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I really am. I, I love the older school games like this. I'm also killing all the crackheads. I'm doing them a favor. <laughs> Save it. I have no uh, stem packs, by the way. What the hell? I haven't seen the Max Payne games in a long time. Yeah, this is my first playthrough through them. Uh, we're doing a Remedy series where we play a bunch of Remedy games that they're well known for. We did Alan Wake, Quantum Break. We're going to do Max Payne 1, 2, and 3, even though 3 is not a Remedy game. And then we're going to do Control. Crack goes against God. Yeah, I am the minister. And I must cleanse you of your sins. Hello? A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. 
tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you. Play a bit of the first, played the second, and never played the third one. Yeah, I. Because and honestly, I, I knew. I, I know absolutely nothing about this course. series. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. But I'm digging the noir vibe of this. I needed to be long gone. I really am. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, uh, everybody's pretty much told me the third one is a good game, just not a great Max Payne game. But that's fine. I mean, we're going to we're going to see for ourselves anyway. Like, Quantum Break turned out to be a lousy piece of shit. Um, I liked the first four acts. The fifth act of um, Quantum Break was garbage, including the final boss, and it tainted the whole game for me. Which is a shame. I really did enjoy the first part of the game. And now it's like a four or a five out of ten for me. Damn. I do appreciate that you can do a quick load. So that if you die, it's not as devastating. I just have to remember to save more often, right? That's really a problem for me. Alright, we'll activate that, close that. I just realized that while you're diving, you kind of want to aim a little bit above their head. Did I save it? I did now. Without a key, I'd never get past this door. Someone had left a letter on the counter. Oh, this is the, the uh, shelf. this is the pawn shop. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self, all talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left, and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far, and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. I'm not going to mess with them. Wait, I thought I saw... I'm, I'm assuming this door is locked, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with, like, the entire NYPD right there. No, thank you. What the? Save. Oh! Shit. scared of this guy like running up right up behind me Ooh, nice painkiller grab um all right i guess we're going upstairs jeez hello I guess we're not going back that way. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Wasn't there some... Yeah, there we go. Uh, F5. I'm just going to try to remember to oversave as opposed to undersaving. 
It just feels kind of like cheesy and save statey whenever I save a bunch. And so I try to make it last for a while, but I guess I guess this game was intended for you to save just a shit ton. So I guess we're going to be just doing that. Because it does seem like you can die rather easy in this game. I want to watch Days of Our Lives. I don't think Days of Our Lives is coming on TV tonight. Alright, I guess we're going out. Chapter 6, Fear That Gives Men Wings. Bombs that destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Oh lord, this is gonna be like some kind of really, really crappy parkour, isn't it? It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of fine. the world as we is that George Carlin? Uh, my butt off. I think that might be George Carlin. And I think that might be that dude from No, I don't know. Two more crackheads that will never smoke crack again. Oh, I can kill George Carlin. <laughs> to get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door of ahead. Luigi's Laundry. What about Mario's Bakery? Wait, is there anything out here? No. Pizza oh. delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. No, let me in. Oh, man. All right, we got to find another way in. You got to be careful when you enter a room because there, there's sometimes they're just like a horde of dudes around every corner. Oh, man. No pizza. Uh, dude, I love those screams from the crackheads. It's like, Rah! Uh, safe. No, don't shoot. I, I You know the clowns at the laundry. Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay. And if okay. you think I'm joking, that's your friend. That's what's going to happen to you if you don't help me, Victor. I imagine your name is Victor. I have no reason to believe that, but I got a feeling. You look like a Victor to me, boy. <laughs> Hello. You all right? Look, this is not the na this is not the time for cardio, man. Listen. Listen. We 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 got to have a conversation. You need to just learn your play. Okay, thank you for coming with me. Come on, let's go. Where are you? Come on. We got to get in the in the thingy. That wasn't my friend. That was drug dealer. Oh, well, one less drug dealer for you to worry about. You no longer owe him all that money. All right, come on, come on. You can let you you can help us out here. Be a pal. It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Wu. Come on. Okay, John Wu. All right. John Wu. The stress was getting to me. 
mistake I'd never be able to fix. I actually didn't mean to kill that guy, by the way. I, I accidentally misfired. Oh, shit. He was supposed to be alive. My bad. Damn. I thought that once he put in the password, we'd be all like Gucci over here. My bad. No, don't shoot. I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Had I waited till the door opened? Dang, that's what we should have done then. Come on, man. Let's go ahead and save it. Can I like change? Hang on. Options, controls, mouse settings. No. I was going to see if I could change my save button to something else, but you can't. I was going to change it to, like, middle mouse or something. Make it real easy. It's me. Open up. L let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Wool. Come on. Okay, John Wool. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! It's me! <laughs> Yeah, if I ever get down the timing on the bullet time, we're gonna be we're we're gonna be gold. Cause like if you can just dive into a room and get somebody around a corner, it's a big advantage. Got him. That being said, all you got to do to avoid getting shot is move around. They they shoot in a straight line and they can't they can't adjust real well. Luigi's laundry, extra super soft and clean. Wait, it costs more to have clean laundry than it does to have soft laundry. So, are they giving people back their laundry dirty but incredibly soft? Cause that seems odd. Bum, 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 bum. Isn't the laundry clean anyway? Yeah, like what? What? What's this? What's the difference between the difference? I would have thought that soft would have been be, would have been a higher price than anything. Like, I don't know. One hell of a beer, three dollars. Imagine taking all that time to wash your hands and then you come right out of the bathroom and you're dead. Also, where did he wash his hands? He has no sink. Ugh. Ugh. New York City is in crisis tonight with reports of Valkyrie related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. New York CNN? I hope I get to meet Wolf Blitzer one day 
in this game. This week on address unknown. Yes! Wait, is there oh there's a guy in there. We need to hang on. It's the last place I'd want to end up. It's the it's the uh thing. I guess I could kill this guy, right? Okay. So I guess I could jump in there, kill all the people, and then watch the soap opera, right? Now, my soap opera. <laughs> Someone who looks the part down to the finest detail. Okay. So that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, Mirrors are more fun than television. That's, mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this. Just don't ask me. Oh, this isn't the soap opera. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double nods and smirks at this like it was the funniest thing in the world and then something goes wrong and suddenly they know i'm there hiding behind them and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes and the flamingo speaks again i have no idea what that means That's when I always wake up to my own screen in that bright lily white hospital room strapped to my bed. Okay, that was weird. Moving on. I have no health packs, by the way. Save it. So glad there's these convenient pipes going up and down these places that I need to go in. Oh! That looks like a safe spot. <coughs> Who's coughing? Who needs to die today? It's always red or Da, 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 da. That's one way to get through a locked door. <laughs> Just blast the whole damn wall down. Is there a brightness setting? Uh, a little bit. I'll, I'll turn it up a little bit. But it was just a dark room anyway. Um, there we go. Let's go. Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed. I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your piece like it meant something. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, God, you shot me. Ah. You're dead, Pain. What the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him. Kill him. With pleasure, boss. Gagnini bailed. 
I made like Chow Yun fat. Oh my god. Okay. Please have a health pack up in here. No. What are you doing? This is war. Freaking war. Oh, this is it? <laughs> Wasn't so bad. <laughs> Um, the letter lay on Gagnini's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish Although it. now I don't have any health packs. Cool, Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnini had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just yeah, I'm gonna save night, it once we're out of this cutscene. wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're oh, I already read that. Okay. All right, we're saved. All right, I think I gotta go out that way, but let's check everywhere else first. Gagnini was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnini would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Where are you? I hope I don't just like have a certain amount of time to do this. Oh, never mind. He escaped. Could I don't think I'm going to catch ride. up to the train. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to have to save this. We're going to have to jump on a train, aren't we? I, I, I saw that one coming. There we go. <laughs> this was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. Somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnini made his move. Oh god, are we gonna have to fight this guy on a train? Holy cow! What? How'd you do that? I don't think I can do that. Please tell me he does it just like, oh my God. Are you kidding me? They just did like a perfect side flip onto their feet. You know what there needs to be? There needs to be a blacklist video game based on the show, The Blacklist. I think that would be really cool. I have no health packs. Yuck. Uh, okay. I wish some of the enemies could drop health packs too.
I also wish I had some kind of compass that could lead me somewhat in the right direction. Okay, this jump right here sucks. And you might not even be supposed to make this jump. Oh, yeah, you are. All right. I mean, that just seemed like the easiest way to go about it. Woo! You'll never catch me alive, coppers! Oh boy. Uh, there's some health packs right there, but I gotta survive somehow. Oh, God. Anakin, I have the high ground. All right, where's that health pack at? Because <laughs> that's what I need. I'm, I'm struggling here. I'm assuming at the bottom, right? Yeah. Valkyr. Is that like the drug, like the crack that they're using over here? Let's save it. That was a good save, turns out. Nope, that didn't work. Woo! Wow. Uh, we're in a really difficult spot here. Oh, I killed him. Nice. The blast radius on the grenades are really, really easy to cheese enemies on. Because if you're anywhere in the vicinity, it murders everybody out there. Packs, maybe? Nah, just some bullets. Oh, you, you can do a side roll without doing the slow motion thing. Did not realize that. Alright, how am I going to get up that?
<laughs> Kobe. Oh, I bet you I gotta go down here. Dude, I have no idea where I gotta go now. Um, maybe on top of the car? No. Well, actually, maybe on top of the car. Hoop. 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 No. Wait a minute, how in the hell? Where exactly am I supposed to be going right now? Um, Cause it doesn't seem like I can jump on any of the, on the, any of the areas over here. I killed the main enemy. Sometimes I get a little lost in this game because um, some areas that it doesn't seem like you should be able to ever get onto, there's always some kind of weird way you can get onto them. But I don't think you can jump from up here to on here. It doesn't look like you can get enough height. It doesn't look like you can jump from the car over this gate. You, it, it's an invisible wall. I can't jump onto that storage container. And then if I go up here, I can't I can't get over this wood. So what am I missing? Do I go back? That's usually not the answer in this game. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and tell me because I, I don't know where in the world I'm going right now. There's a button by the beam? Are you kidding me? I definitely did not see a button. Oh, this? Wow, that's cheesy. Oh, I hate that. That was way too small to see. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I already killed the main enemy over here. Got him down. Damn. Oh, I forgot to save it whenever I killed this guy, though. That's all right. This wasn't that hard of a section. What the hell?
I think that's twice now that I've missed a small ass little button like that. So I just gotta be on the lookout for those kind of things. Oh, thank God, some painkillers. <laughs> Captain Baseball Bat Boy, he's back. He's mean, and he's got a bat. I know, it slowly goes down. Wait, did I kill the guys that were in here? I don't see them anywhere. Holy shit! I don't know how I survived that. <laughs> that grenade blowing up right on me. Could go down that way. That looks like the only way you can go down. All right. Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close oh, to man. capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Sometimes this Apart game is a little hard. suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. Because it feels like they can shoot you like once and almost drain your entire life at times. Depending on how close they are to you. Well, I thought I didn't realize fugitive was like normal. I thought it was trying to say it was easy. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, you're gonna have to come see me. All right, I'll come see you. Oh God. Okay, apparently Max Payne has like a Peyton Manning Drew Brees arm. Jeez. 
Bullshit. Oh my god. Like, come on. I don't have any heals, by the way, so I, that may have been a really bad save spot. <laughs> Unless we find a heal really quick. Dude, these, these like, grenades are, like, the biggest bullshit ever. Like, who just threw that grenade, by the way? Because it wasn't this guy. That grenade just, like, came out of nowhere. Like, like God is mad that I'm taking out the crackheads. So, they just throw grenades from above. Because that guy certainly did not throw that grenade. Open, God damn it! Pain! I'll kill you, you lousy freaking cop! Okay. It worked. <laughs> That's funny. Woo, there's more. Oh man, he's got a terrible arm. That'll do that one. There you go. Gogniti ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not going to be anybody's fall guy. I want to know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big, dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Pino's at Raglan Rock, the nightclub. Book me, take me to home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. 
Your rights will be ready at your funeral. Well, it's snowing outside, so clearly this is a Christmas video game. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. Hey! Wait, is is this nightclub so legitimately in a church? Kill it bullet through the heart, like father, like <laughs> son. Just like That's Jack hilarious. Lupino. All right, zombie, de freaking zombie demons from outer space. That's what I'm talking about. Uh No, I need I need um heals. Wait, did I not open that door right? Got him dead. Oh shit. What the hell is that? Wait, how did somebody? Oh, I, I did not see that that opened up that door. <laughs> I was like, where would they come from? All right, I need heals really, really bad. The book had never been a bestseller. All right, we're good. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. There he is. Dude, for a nightclub, they definitely don't have very many people in it. Hey. Oh, who's... Where'd that dude come from? Uh, save it right quick. I have no idea where this person is. Oh, there they are. Okay. All right, where are we going now? Well, there must be like a hidden passageway that I didn't see before. How you liking it so far? I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, of course, for a for a 2003 game, it's got its clunkiness, but it's a lot of fun. The story is really good so far. I I I do have to get used to manually saving as opposed to games doing an auto save for me. Look at this guy. 
Dang it. I knew there was going to be, like, somebody, like, right around the corner. Painkillers, that's nice. Save it. Books on the occult had been piled on the table. Okay, now things are getting a little weird. Books on the, the occult. Room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon. What have we gotten ourselves into? Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal. Lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Okay, I got a feeling this game's about to get a lot weirder than- Cause I- I wasn't imagining it getting like super dark or anything, just being like a crime story. But the, something tells me this game's about to take a whole new twist. Yeah, that's true. It is Sam Lee. No, it's Max Payne. <laughs> True, it is Max Payne. Um, was this just a side area to go to? I didn't see any other doors I could go in. Oh, hey. Let's do a hard save. I haven't done one of those in a while. You have the right to remain dead. Time knife. Uh oh. of operation like what is this toxic green sludge that they got you watch that screen I, I watched a little bit of it definitely save it after that fight so this is like their winery
So where are we going? I keep hearing a door opening and closing. This game's not supposed to be this dark. I can turn it up a little bit more. It looks fine on my end. That should be a little better. It's probably because we had to do a display capture. The game's just gonna be a little darker, I guess, but like, I'm looking on my other screen. My side is way brighter than, than what y'all are seeing. So I do see that. But I, I have it cranked up now. Y'all ought to be able to see a little bit better. There you go. Okay, I really don't like this section. All right, we should be all right. Oh my God. Back here. I'm, I'm going to turn it up even brighter. I, I don't know why it's really dark on y'all's end. That's really bizarre. I'm gonna save it because I don't really know where they want me to go here. I, I'm guessing in this door over here. I think I just kind of got lucky as far as going in the right direction. How's it looking for you now? It should be a lot better. Chasers of the Slain. Oh, this is a weird section. What's going on back here? What happened to you? Oh 
Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I, I some of the parkour in this game is really bad. I had saved it right before that. Backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. What this was the rotten world is happening apple. in here? Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web. Waiting. I wonder if they. Oh, they must the have murdered. The started to make my head swim. These mu people Torn must have been involved in my wife's in murder. Sofa. And it was all for occult reasons, I bet. All right, there was some kind of thing that I'm supposed to interact with. I'm pressing E on everything. Like, I thought it would be this. I'm like jamming E on everything, trying to see what they're trying to get me to read. And nothing's triggering. Oh, well. The flesh of fallen angels come to me all. Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jadula, Lilith, Ella, blood to you all. <laughs> Secret. What the heck? This game has taken a strange turn that I did not see coming. We definitely have a boss it's battle. Now. I will rise to her side. I don't need the words. I'm beyond the words. Oh, I did. I did not see that other guy over there. This chapter is called An Empire of Evil. Oh, I didn't see that. All right. Um, I know there's still a guy like up here somewhere. Oh, and there, there's a guy here too. Save it.
All right. Made it to this guy. I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Levino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. Wait, what? I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming! She is coming. And hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now. And all who stand in her way must die. <laughs> it must be the drugs. The, dr the drugs must be messing these people up. I'm going to try saving it right now. Jeez. Oh my god. Dude, what the hell? Do I save it right here with only one guy? I, I don't know. I don't know what the play is there. Oh, come on. This is going to be an annoying as hell chapter. All right, I think we save it right here. It's saved, so we better be successful. Got him! Bye, Lapito. When Lapito finally went down, Woo! I wanted to make real tough. sure he'd stay that way. He was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. It turned out to be my wife. <laughs> Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello oh. was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. 
Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact? I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting loose again. She drugged me! What a bitch! The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Oh, I gotta Some go in his nightmare world now? Crying. What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna take a quick, quick break. Um, since we've been going about three hours, I'm gonna use the bathroom and I will be right back. See you guys on the other side of the break.
All right, welcome back, everybody. We're playing some Max Payne for the very first time. Having a great time with it. Some weird stuff going on right now. We're going to get right back into the game here. God, I wish... I, I wish it wasn't so, like, dark for y'all if I... Because y'all should see it on my end. Since I had to crank the brightness up so you could see... The game's, like, really bright right now. <laughs> Anyways, back to it. Uh, I'm in a weird dream world, man. I don't know where I'm going. In fact, you know what? I want to do a little bit of exploration myself. Now, hang on. Let me see if there's anything I can do as far as brightening up the display capture while being able to turn down the brightness in game. Cause this is, it's a little bit much. Um. I don't know if it would be, yeah, I guess it would be this. So if I do something like that. Oh God, I don't want, I really don't want to screw things up though. That can't be right. Um, I am just having so many technical issues with this game. Let, let's, let's try something out, hang on. Let's go here. Um, display capture OBS too dark. Set the color range to limited. This will compensate and bring the color back to normal. I don't think that's what we wanted to do. I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. Guys, let me stop the stream right quick and restart it. I have an idea. I, I'm going to switch from NVENC recording to X264. And we're going to see if that'll fix it. Because the game is way too bright for me. If I, if I turn brightness down, y'all won't be able to see. If I turn brightness up... I barely can see. So let me let me stop the stream and I'll be right back. <laughs> 